Anyway. And that was the last that we ever heard of Cory <laughs> Booker. He was transported. Um, but so, so this matters to me for two reasons. I mean, one, it's nice to see a, a candidate go and do retail politics uh, with young people in that kind of generation that sure. frequents these cons. Yeah. There are all sorts of people here, and I don't feel like we do enough of actually trying to meet new voters. They do a lot of base turnout these yeah. days, going to the most radical mm-hmm. people. People can be won over there, and people like shared identity. When you have something in common with them that you can start from, you can build. So that's good. Um, but the thing I don't like is he talks, he talks in these interviews about his love of Star Trek. And as you guys know, I'm a little, a little bit of a Star Wars guy. Mm-hmm. And he, really, that, he yeah. really shows his hand on how much of a utopian he is. Like he really believes, and his Star Trek is informed by this, that human nature can be done away with, that we can transcend mm-hmm. all of our problems. Everything that plagues us, poverty, class, race. He thinks that there is a future where none of that will ever happen. I don't. Um, and I, I think that's what makes us, you know, conservatives or libertarians and them progressives. Yeah, well, I mean, the founders, I think, really focus on that, that we're, we're, we're not perfect people. And they built, Never will be. they built a system where, like, you can be, you can be different. And you, there's not going to be somebody who is going to know the right way to do everything uh, and, and do a top-down sort of approach. The thing I get with Booker is, like, he just tries so hard. Like he, you know, and, and some of it, I guess you're looking at the, the positive angle of it, which I appreciate. He um, goes like 120%, right? Yeah. yeah like yeah. it's one thing to it's, go and have fun, but he's like, hey, yeah. everybody. <laughs> it just and doesn't he, feel real. He looks fake. fake. Yeah. He looks fake, right? Mm-hmm. Like his fake anger. And that's his biggest problem is he just always ratchets it up too much. Yeah. And, and it never seems authentic. There's a big story about him. Uh, you know, he played for Stanford, uh, uh, Division I college football. Mm. Um, Did he? Yeah. Uh, he was recruited by Lou Holtz to go to Notre Dame. Uh, like this guy was like a big athlete, I guess, and then he, I guess, he got there and, and never was able to really get on the field all that much. He had a oh. few catches, but never really, never really did much. But like, it seems like that's his brand. Like his brand is just like I'm this guy who could show up at a comic con. I'm the guy who can show. I'll do. I'm, I'm you. And in reality, he just doesn't. I don't. I don't. It just does not come off as authentic from him. No, uh, it's not his strength. Um, I think everything about Cory Booker is he sort of vacillates between which version of himself he's going to be. Like, I will admit, I actually was really intrigued by him. Back in the day, he was working on criminal justice reform with mm-hmm. Senator Mike Lee and Rand Paul. He seemed very interested in building bridges. And then Kavanaugh happened, and he went to full blow them all apart. Oh, yeah. Tear it all down. The guy's a fake. And so that's the thing that rubs me the wrong way about him at Comic-Con, trying to get people's emotions like, I'm one of you, vote for me. <laughs> uh, uh, it is. Uh, do you think any of you think Booker has a chance of winning the nomination? No. Shockingly, no. Uh, no. no. He I would, should. He a year should, ago, I would have said yes, yeah. right? On paper, he probably should. Yeah. Uh, I mean, he is in that t- he's not in the top tier, certainly. He's not also in the you know, John Delaney, uh, you know, uh, Eric Swalwell, who now left the campaign. Like, he's not in that bottom tier. He's, I mean, he's getting 3 and 4%. He probably will be, be able to stay in the debates, but I just don't mm-hmm. see him. Is he still at the kids' table of the debate, though? No, well, they, they, there is no kids' random. table. It's all yeah, random. Of course it is. It's all yeah, random. That's right. Of course. I would have assumed he'd be an A-lister. Yeah. I'm, I'm really shocked. He really has. I mean, yeah. you, he was one of those guys they talked about as being one of the potential favorites uh, and has just not been able to turn it into anything. And yeah. that's because Cory Booker, unfortunately for Cory Booker, is Cory Booker. Yeah. Uh, that's he a sucks. big problem.